Geothermal detectives uncover the cause of Yellowstone's massive eruption. After an explosion devastated a visitor area, scientists are finally gathering evidence to explain the phenomenon. The area is just three kilometers north of Old Faithful and includes popular attractions like Sapphire Pool. The park needs to understand what happened before it can rebuild or allow visitors back, and Poland and other researchers are unsure whether this was an isolated incident or something larger. The dangers associated with hydrothermal events cannot be underestimated. Poland wrote in his weekly newsletter the Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles. The July 2024 event at Biscuit Basin ejected boulders large enough to destroy sidewalks as visitors scrambled for safety. Since that eruption, a series of incidents have emerged in the area indicating the possibility of more instability, but nothing is conclusive. Trail cameras will pick up that some rocks have moved, the shoreline has become wetter, and the water is turbulent, Poland said. In some cases, the unknown events toppled small seismometers, buried temperature sensors in mud, and in one case washed a temperature sensor into the Firehole River, Poland wrote. The temperature in the pool would spike at various times, and then, two different eyewitnesses, not always the most reliable sources for geologists, claim to have seen part of a small eruption as well. All of this, Poland wrote, indicated that, quote, something was going on. Because of the mysterious nature of the events, Poland wrote that he and his colleagues began calling them Sasquatch sightings. The team installed a webcam video recorder in May in an attempt to confirm what was really happening in Biscuit Basin. Two weeks later, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory finally captured video of Sasquatch. In the footage, Black Diamond Pool ejected a plume of steam and debris 30 feet into the air for four seconds. Since the first video, they have recorded three or four more eruptions.
That allowed us, because we were also recording other data sets simultaneously, to connect everything, Poland said. Now we know what these temperature fluctuations are associated with. We know what they mean because we now have a visual record of the activity. Because the video correlates with other evidence recorded by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory from nearby equipment, such as sound recorders and temperature gauges, they can confirm the full spectrum of activity since last July's eruption. There have been at least eight eruptions at Black Diamond Basin since the major eruption in 2024. Knowing these previous events provides a clear picture of the hydrothermal activity beneath Biscuit Basin. The plumbing system was destroyed in 2024 by that explosion. In fact, when we look at the rocks scattered on the surface from that event, we can see very silica-rich rocks that clearly line the inside of the hot springs, Poland said. The Sasquatch sighting is actually just part of nature's healing process as it repairs the heat and water channels beneath the basin. It's like the system is trying to rebuild itself and pressure can build up in places because everything has been so disturbed, Poland said. When the pressure builds up to a point where it exceeds the strength of the rock, these little eruptions happen, 